हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स एज इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस फ्यू थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू द यूनिट नंबर टू सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक व्हिच इज डिजाइन ऑफ सेफ्ट अंडर वेरिएबल स्ट्रेस सो बिफोर स्टडिंग दिस टॉपिक वी मस्ट हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द ट्रांसमिशन सेप्स साफ्ट ओके एंड दिस इज देयर इन द चैप्टर नंबर नाइन साफ की इज इन कपलिंग इन द बुक ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ मशीन एलिमेंट बी वी भंडारी ओके यू कैन गो थ्रू इट so the term transmission shaft usually refers for the rotating machine elements okay so basically this is used utilized in the the machines where there are some rotating components or they are having some rotating machine elements like gear pulleys sprockets and for the transmission of power and basically it can also be called as spindle counter shaft jack shaft line shaft and axles okay so these are the few examples or you can say the name of different name of transmission shaft i am not going in detail of this you can go through it because in the university exam they will not cover or ask the questions related to this you can also see that ordinary transmission shafts are made of a carbon steel with the carbon content from 0.15 to 0.40 and these steels are called as machinery steels and some common grade alloy steels for the making of transmission shafts are these okay and alloy steels are costly compared to the plain carbon steel so it depends on the purpose where you are utilizing this particular kind of shaft you can use this now as far as the first uh, topic of our concern is shaft design on the basis of strength basically you can design shaft on the basis of two criterions first is strength criteria second is rigidity criteria so for, let us see that how you can design any shaft or you can just calculate the diameter of that shaft required as per the application on the basis of your strength when shaft is subjected to the axial tensile force then the tensile stress is given by sigma t is equals to p upon pi by 4 d square so this sigma t will be able to calculate the tensile force applied on this particular shaft under tensile loading okay and similarly when there is a pure bond bending moment then you can calculate the bending stress with the help of this formula sigma b and this is nothing but your bending equation if you will recall it which you have studied in the previous semester subjects of design so this is there for your bending moment with the help of that you can calculate the bending moment and similarly when the shaft is subjected to pure torsional moment the torsional shear stress is given by this value which is tau is equals to mtr into divided by j which is our derived from torsion equation and the formula which will rearranged like this 16 t t is nothing but mt is nothing but your torque okay and tau is your shear stress pi d cube d is the diameter of your shaft okay so in this way you can calculate all three stresses first is tensile second is bending and third is your torsion stress okay or you can say torsional stress or shear stress now let us just combine all these uh, stresses and calculate the equivalent stresses or i will say principal shear stress okay or you can say principal stresses sigma 1 and tau max okay so for this you can derive it with the help of mohr circle as you can see in the picture it depends on different cases okay like in the case in this case the shaft is subjected to a combination of axial force bending moment and torsional moment means you have torsional stress as well as bending stress so your sigma x will be this and in case the shaft is subjected to combination of bending and torsional moment without any axial force means no axial forces will be there then sigma x will be equals to sigma v and for the construction of mohr circle these are the following steps which you must have to follow like first of all you have to select the origin then plot oa means you have to point o you have to first fix after that plot point oa or a line oa in the direction of x as sigma x magnitude then ab with the value of tau which is shear stress and similarly od in with l and after that you are joining the db then you will get the intersection between db and oa as e and by taking e as a center and eb as a radius you can construct the whole mohr circle okay similarly now your principal stress will be declared as sigma b is equals to sigma x by 2 plus sigma x under root sigma x by 2 whole square plus tau square and similarly you can calculate the tau max value which is the maximum 
torsional shear stress okay so in this way you can calculate and after that you can also apply some principal stresses theories or you can say theory of failures that i will come to the next sessions i will cover this topic meanwhile just cover this particular topic that how you can derive or develop the mohr circle and design the mohr circle on the basis of few random values okay so that you can aware about this particular calculation and if you have any doubt do comment in the chat box or you can say comment box of this video and meanwhile stay tuned with our engineering college banswara youtube channel for more such updates about different branches of engineering like mechanical civil electrical and computer science engineering thank you so much